<laughs> welcome, uh, Monday morning, and welcome to Show Me The Money Rugby League TV. We're going to do a special preview this morning uh, on the weekend's events with the playoffs in mind. Uh, we've, we're missing in action the great Michael Gledel. Um, he has been seen uh, at <laughs> ten past one on his Insta. Uh, and he's, he's a bit like Alan Brazil at TalkSport, I think, Sam. I think we've got to that stage where... You know, it's whether he comes or not. You don't know where he is, but we do get trackings of him everywhere. Uh, but he has been sitting at ten past one. But he said he's got a doctor's appointment today, and that's why he's missed the show. Unbelievable. So let's crack on, guys. We had two semi-finals. Uh, well, they call it quarter-final playoffs. We had Catalans and Leeds, and we had Salford and Huddersfield. Uh, I hope we all watch both games, guys. Um, I'll I'll put it over to you, then I'll come back to me on it. But first of all, Joe Catalan's leads atmosphere electric. I've heard the crowd was. I'm trying to get the crowd, but we heard it was a full house, so I think it was absolutely the Leeds fans who went said it, it, it was a real daunting experience for them. It, it, it were really on. The atmosphere was absolutely electric, mm. but hostile was used. Well, used, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hostile was used, so that's that's that's. Usually, if you go there, you go on the you go on the Raz, you have yeah, a great time. But back. actually, it seemed yeah. seemed to me like there was a lot of pressure on the game. But Joe, first of all, Catalan's late. Uh, what a game! It's I think it sums up <laughs> Leeds' current form, doesn't it? No offense to the Leeds players; they'll probably say themselves they've not actually been playing. Amazing! They've not been playing amazing, but they've been finding ways every single game for the last. Obviously, five, six weeks now to win, which obviously what it's all about. They've, they've done it again. They defended tremendously, to be fair to them. They were very tough in defence. I think they, they they didn't give away many silly mistakes. I, I think they riled Catalans up in a, in a, in a way that I, I, I don't think I've seen this season. They found a way just to get under the skin, which I think with some of the Catalans players is probably the way to... To, to get them to be honest because they play on the edge they play tough they play they play in your face so sometimes it's a, it's a close margin as, of obviously as we've seen with Catalans this year it's a close margin and they find a, they found a way to tip it over and obviously all the sim bins Mitchell Pierce twice in a game mm. so I mean the table twice in a game not brilliant is it but um, yeah well well done to Leeds they found a way to win again and yeah mm. obviously <coughs> a big shout out to Liam Sutcliffe who I believe I'll give you credit dad you called um, about a week before on the podcast didn't you I said how he's been amazing he's just it's in his uh, his form and he, he proved it he proved it at the weekend by scoring Sorry. an amazing hat trick hat trick Jimmy yeah I, I agree with Joe I think and I've still got a soft spot for Leeds, but bias to your side, I've been waiting for for a few years for a team to do that to Catalans and and almost take them on at their own game of trying to be that grubby team for want of a better term. And when you when you took Bentley to Leeds at the start of this year, I thought that that was the signing that Leeds needed and have needed for years to have a player like that because Leeds are nice. Ryan Bailey type, right? Yeah, Bailey they've the not day. had anyone since Bailey. And to be fair, I think Bentley's a better version of it because he, he backs himself up every time and he'll take on anybody. And he used to do it for Saints against Wigan and he was invaluable. Um, his season was obviously not a great start and he's had a really tough year. But for me... The signing's been worth it for that one performance. To take on McAlorum and ruin McAlorum, beat him at his own game. I've never seen McAlorum more furious. He usually wins those battles of who can annoy the other person the most. Tompkins ended up embarrassing himself with the, with the fainting injury and all that. And and I I it was not the greatest game to watch, skill-wise and standard-wise. But for Leeds as underdogs to go there with everything they're up against, having to get a plane sorted themselves, quite a few players out, losing Reese Martin, to go and do Catalans, who had been resting players, you said it last week, you thought they'd actually set it up perfectly and timed it timed it well. I I, I was with you. I thought Catalans would have too much. I who, agree. Who disagreed with you both? Joe. I want here, but I would have disagreed, yeah. But but I thought for for Leeds to do that and to see Mickey Mack, who's got away with murder, and Tompkins, what a win. 
Do I think next week it will be a step too far? I, I, I do again, but who knows? Right leads off at your peril because Rowan has gotten believing in himself. Big Mick, what a performance. Everybody. There were no one on Leeds team who was less than 7 out of 10 if it was plenty of nines. Oh. So I, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly despite the lack of... And, if, and even if it wasn't Leeds who did it, even if Huddersfield had gone there and done it, but you need a player like Bentley to go and do that and get under the skin and, I, I, and cause them to lose their heads. It was it was great for I, me to watch. I've got a question for you, that actually, tactic, on tactics and in-depth. I think the re, I think the mismatch of teams tactically, I think Lee, uh, Catalan's very slow the play down. I think that's the perfect mix for Leeds and the way they play currently because it doesn't matter. They play off the cuff and that early in the sense that I don't think it matters. The Catalan style of play... Isn't as effective it against doesn't Leeds. work against Leeds. It's not. It, it, it's not going to work against the, the way they play. What do you think? I think probably. I don't know if it were that deep, lad. To be honest with you, what I saw and, and what I watched for a, a team full of enthusiasm. I thought genius to put Mick as captain. Thought it just put the best thing. Mickey's now without doubt the number one, two best. You'd say him and Wormsley are best two props in the country. Yeah. Mick's giving Wormsley 10 years, you know, whatever, eight mm. years. So Mikolai Yaletsky is now a numero uh, uno. Mm. To put him in there with that passion for the club and his mate Cameron on his shoulder yeah. was saying, Super. you know, this is what Leeds are about. And, and without being too... I did say this to Leeds 15 months ago. Uh, they asked me, and I'm not going to say who asked me, but they said, I said, I, I'd make them the youngest captains, vice captains yeah. in the history of Leeds because I think the leaders. Yeah. And I watched everything they did Listen, Catalans, Steve Mack is a good coach. Steve Mack knows they've probably they've gone very top heavy with age, experience. Do you coach players like that or do you just manage? Mm. For me, you manage. I think the average age would be quite heavy. It showed a glimpse of what the Catalans against Warrington have got. Yeah, through. Through. If I was Steve, and, and I'm not telling you I'd suck eggs, he's, he's, he's been successful everywhere he's done, but he probably needs to introduce some of them very quickly. Because what you find at end of the year with them likes is leads come in and then you know, look, look at Jared Connor. You know, wow. let's give him some proper wow. raps. There's a kid here. There's a kid here who, who no one in the in the, the league would pick. No. You know, based on Jared Connor, you wouldn't put him in in front of Twy. You wouldn't put him. We've got Corey, but let's be honest. He's going in there. Apart from a couple of mistakes, he goes in there and he competes from day. He could play eighty minutes in yeah. Super League in Catalans. Yeah. And hold his own. Yeah. He's been a revelation, and he is money ball. You know, you look at what people say. He's, you know, he's not our player, but I give total raps to that kid. And can I just add on that one quickly? What a call off Rowan Smith to to put him in there, leave Dwyer out, who is you know arguably the leads his most dangerous player in, in and a tight in form. game and, and in form, and to, to put Cruz to to go to Cruz and say. You're on the bench, I'm trusting Jared. Mm. What a brave call. And, you know, it's just wonderful to see but a coach you know, be that, be that if you confident know, in his own strategy. If you know Rowan, I've said this this morning to somebody, uh, I said he's a very faceless coach. You know, and what I mean by faceless is he doesn't give a shit on what name you've got how many times yeah. you've played. He's literally coaching the dream coach. He's coaching on what he sees in front of him. And believes. That is top-level coaching. Yeah. That's what we've been waiting for for years. Yeah. When somebody goes into a change room and says, I have no agendas with anybody. You show me enthusiasm. You show me where you're going with this, and I'll back you. Yeah. And I think he does that regardless of the names. Yeah. Because every time I look at a team, did I think Leeds could go Catalans without a Shanley, who I think is the most pivotal player for them at the moment? Not a chance. Not a chance. Oh, my God. Mm. Tyndall, mm. you know, everybody who goes in, this is when you know you've got good spirit. Yeah. You could put anybody in at the moment, let's be honest. They yeah. could literally put anybody into that team and they think they've got a chance. Uh, I'm not going to preview the, the, the next game because I think that's on another show, but Catalans, you know, I listened to him after a game with Steve and he, he, I thought, I wonder where they were going with this this year because they probably they play above cap to Catalans. They probably play at two point, Steve, you know, they might correct it's 2.2 or whatever. They definitely got marquee players. So you're looking at getting knocked out playoffs in fourth or fifth or whatever they finished. Mm. I just thought they... I didn't think it clicked all year. No, it's not. And I didn't think it clicked last... I think Steve said it. He said, we haven't really clicked. And I thought, that's a great answer, mm. but you're the boss. Yeah. So Sky should have said to him, so why don't you think it's clicked, Steve? What, have you got your recruiting wrong? Have you got injuries at the wrong time, which everyone's had this year, mm. by the way? Listen, Sam Tompkins is a big one of the best players I've seen in Super League. Yeah. That, that's me. 
Agree. But, but he, he's, he's also one of the, 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 what I call the clicker players. He gets high marks, Sam, by what we said about uh, the, the, having an agenda of mentioning players to get the views. Sam certainly that at Catalans. I, I looked at the Albert Goldorp. Sam finished second in the Albert Goldorp, uh, which I think it was to Jai Fields. I'll check who it was. But I watched it and I thought, are you for real or what? I, I, consistently, Sam's been the second best player in our comp for an award. That's all the journos, isn't it? That's the journos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's Martin Sattler's award they've had for years. They, they do it. It's McShane. You know, they've always got it pretty much. Yeah. But I looked at it. It's usually Rangi. Rangi won it three times. I think Gailey's won it two or three times. But yeah, Gailey's I was so it. shocked at... But I do understand it because if, if the... Um, if all you do is talk about certain subjects when the teams are on, you can get sidewind if you're not if you're not studying it. You can watch that game and think, you know, what happened? Well, they just got found out with slow legs. A lot of them, and probably. I wonder how he gets. It's just gives Sam. so Sam's got another year. I reckon they've got three of them: Gil Dudson and the other props gone Warrington. Yeah, Cassiano. Two. Yeah. Would I be Warrington buzzing thinking I've got them two coming? I don't know because for me, for me, you. You're back to the opposite of what you're saying about Leeds. You're back to proven, tried, mm. tested. And that's what you're going to get. But you're going to get another year older version of that player. Mm. So like Catalan's doing good business by releasing that and probably getting some younger legs mm. in. Yeah, I've worried to just got two players who are... One year. You know, yeah. 30, whatever they are. And the, you know, it's, it's, it's frightening in a way to think that which one's going to get it right and which one's going to get it wrong. But I wonder how much cap space Catalan's have got for next year to change anything. Because so I'm not hearing, uh, you know, we're, we're going to do a transfer uh, notes, but I'm not hearing anything coming out of the Catalans. They've signed Tom Johnson, haven't they? They've signed Tom Johnson. It's a pretty big signing, to be fair. If uh, it, if it was, I think one thing that links into Catalans, last year, Catalans had it all their own way with what was happening with the COVID and, and teams going over there and, and all the issues. I don't know if there was an element of that. Last year, there were it, that was a close final, wasn't it? They weren't far off at all. This year, I, I, I don't know whether they thought, let's do it again, and, but let's take our time a bit more near the business end and get make sure players are ready for the big games. But probably misjudged, Wigan getting Field and Bevan back, that elevated them to a different level, change of coach, big factor. And, and, and other teams, Salford and Huddersfield doing so well. I think they've misjudged where they needed to be. But I don't think, I don't think anyone at Catalans think they lose that game. And I don't think a lot of people in the rugby league world did. Joe Harrison. Except for Joe no, <laughs> and, if, yeah, and some hardcore like Leeds fans. But th- I think they've misjudged it and they've got it wrong. And now they're going to have to have a serious look that right. We can't take anything for granted because you won't back them to be top four next year unless they make some significant changes. Again, cap space might not allow it. So, 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 it's a fantastic on Leeds. They're good to win in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm laughing to myself because very close to Matty P and I think if you ask Matty who would he want it would have been Leeds after Leeds put it on him a month ago he he, he would say to it give me Leeds we owe him we owe he him would be, if Matty was sat there and, and, and he, he did not need building up the game but Leeds on back here going to Catalans long trip played the hearts out then having to go to Wigan week after who are seething about mm. the performance mm. a month ago so Matty's team talk he won't even have to say a word he's going to say the bash you all of her Harry Newman and Ashan, they were bullying you, you know, from back line, they were bullying them, they were getting quicker rooks. They were so this this game's all set up for a, for an unbelievable game. I think we're gonna be one to three on, probably twelve on handicap. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but but right, right, off it, amazing yeah, performance. Uh, and Newman Leeds are, hopefully back for that one as well, I think. Newman I think is, Ash, think is back. Ash back as well. I don't know about no, that. No, they're saying Ash another week, Newman. So, I don't think I don't think so I would, ever risk him, I won't be risking him. And I don't think Rowan's the sort of coach who does risk players, which is another because, great thing for him. Because he trusts other players. That's that's a lovely gift, isn't it? So the second semi final, guys, well done on and Leeds, Catalans could do better. Uh it's Huddersfield Salford mm-hmm. and we was at the reserve game, so yeah. I didn't tell anybody. We've I taped it and I took my phone off and I made sure I got home and and I watched it. Um, I, I built it up as Watson v Paul Rowley Styles. I thought that two coaches of, of of that ability. I thought, wow, these are both highly rated young coaches in the game. Both like to play. They talk about Ian Watson 
and he gets pissed off. I've heard he was pissed off last week with everyone saying about going through the sets and making sure we control this and all these keywords what coaches use, mm. you know, high percentage of, of uh, completion, completion uh, control of the process. I, I don't know it. I don't know. I've, I've sat in changing rooms. I've been around players. I've never heard a young player use process anyway. I don't understand what it means. I think it's fucking baffling on any part of what it is. It comes Ryan down Riley to, used it in his post-match yeah, interview. It, actually, and, and they're laughing. They're probably having a dig it. I don't know. But the, what I'm laughing at is you, you look at you look at both teams. What I saw were one team absolutely like Leeds, confident in each other, mm. absolutely I'm, buzzing. You've got. To, I've got to disagree with you about the process here. I know you don't. I think Salford have gone through a process this year. I think earlier on throughout the whole season, big myself, I've been saying you can never predict what 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 Salford I don't know win, don't lose, and they, you can see they've been tuning when they when they get it when they got it right early on in the season. They destroyed teams when they got it wrong. They got destroyed. They've been they've been very up and down all season, and then they finally the process clicked at the end in the final few games you could see even against when they lost against Leeds they were playing yeah, yeah. unbelievable rugby and they, uh, it's, it's, deter- got, it's determined I think that is a process yeah. I think they've got and Ryan, determine, Ryan wasn't joking it's when determined he said about the, the usage of the word process it's a piss take at it, the moment that everyone's saying coaches are using it as a key word process 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 I say I speak to players all week I've very rarely got a player and Isaiah Danny Maguire and Luke Gale say we did it because we did the process. I think it's a new term though and we got oh, no, we will you, Trust it. me, Watson, no, Ian Watson it, it, has been using process and it's been a, a, well, new, a new issue. Would, would you disagree that Paul Rowley Rowley, Rowley Paul Rowley hasn't Rowley gone Salford. through process? Salford and Rowley. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you because I spoke to Paul in the week I can tell you exactly he, he, exactly no he's just got a lot of players who actually believe he's got players coming into form with preview Callum Watkins oh my god they. if you looked at Huddersfield and Salford all I saw were one team and Brian Mack used to use this very regularly because everyone over X, you've got one team going into the game absolutely buzzing to play with each other. I thought this field were flat. I thought they were so flat. Yeah. And and, and, I, and I said this, and I, and I probably want to challenge Thulis, Thulis watching the show, so I'm probably getting in trouble here. They got milled it on in a playoff, and yet when they asked Ian how his season went, I, I thought they'd come across like, hey, everything's good, we finished third, really good, you know. And I'm listening thinking, you fucking joke, you've just been nilled it on by 34 okay. fucking nil. And we're not having this conversation. And Sky never got, I don't know if he were clever and whipped it away from what, what his season was, but it was like, hey, great gig, boys. Mm-hmm. Let's build for next year. Everything but a genius how he did it, to mm-hmm. be fair. I, I bought, they don't... for me, I'd have thought somebody would have said, but Ian, let's talk about this game. Well, I agree on Twitter, on online, on like so even the after the interview, the way the players were. I can't say they, it looked like they weren't bothered because they're clearly players. They're very extremely bothered. So I'm not saying that, but it's, it didn't seem as impactful that they got nil, that the game went as it was. Salford took it to them and, frankly, beat them pretty comfortably in the end. Well, they've just been 28 nil. They, they've been nilled in a playoff game. Well, Has that ever happened? I, I would say I would, the first time in history. I would have thought so in a I playoff think, game. What, who, in a Super playoff game, I don't think a team has been nil. Never. I'm sure someone nil, correct. Wigan got nilled last year against Leeds. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was it. Oh, was it 8-0 that one? Yeah, it, it does, ah, right. does happen. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> yeah, only right. But this is, what, this is what probably leads into that. You've got to be careful. Like, it's, it's different styles of managing, isn't it, and, and psychology. If Watson, for whatever reason, has been happy to go and make sure there's no fingers pointing at his team who have, who have overachieved for what a lot for... And he's trying to take the pressure off lads going, look, whatever happens today, boys, it's been a great year. We've set ourselves up for next year. It's been a success. It's been a success. If you reiterate that, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that approach. We get a flat performance. But, you, but, but it, can, it can lead to that. One way it could have easily happened that the players thought, no pressure, let's go and play. However, what happened was what Salford did with their form going into it, who were going, Uddersfield had been going that way for a while and Salford had been going that way. Salford have gone in with the pressure off, take the emotion out of it, as Briley said, and let's just trust what we've been doing the last few weeks and go for it, work to treat. Others feel they've gone, well, what we've done is great, that'll do. And, I, and, the, and it could have led to that performance. Oh, no. They've not been on form for a while, though, feel, have they? They've yeah, I just, I, just, I just looked at it and I watched the game and I just thought one team had gone into the... Just South would remind me of Leeds. They just looked like a team who were enjoying the... Yeah. Bloody, 
playing together as mates and they look like they're all together. I've watched, I'm watching the half. I mean, but Brody's injured for the, uh, for the, so eight 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 show, yeah. that's heartbreaking. Yeah. That's heartbreaking for him because he is without doubt been a revelation and, and, Probably for me, if you're going to challenge Jai Fields, he's yeah. the one who I'd challenge yeah, Jai with say and say he has to be one of the best. There's rumours, we've got a transfer rumours going, but there's rumours he's, he's going back to NRL that he's been offered. I hope for our competition he doesn't. Yeah. I think he's been a revelation. I looked how big he was after a game when they were cheering. He's only looks a small lad, yeah. but he's got a big heart and he's got some play in him. But I thought that even down to individual battles, I were looking again. It were clever what Ian did. Even after the game, they talked about he, he gave a lot of toffee for uh, Andy Akers, you know. And I were like, right, but is that again taking away that? I thought Huddersfield have had the best hooker in the comp. Yeah, you've certainly picked him, two. didn't you? Yeah. And he, he, you know, for whatever reason, it didn't. It, whether they didn't get any quick rooks or quick plays, and he couldn't get on front foot, and he, he, he got. But I thought, you know, saying how good some of Salford players were on the day again took away from the fact is what about happened to your players. It was, I don't know if it's a great, you know, because I'd love to. Ian, Ian's a rugby league anorak, he loves it. But I'd love to speak to him and say, you know, I wanted, I wanted more answers. I wanted more answers why they never played. Yeah. And I didn't get them. Yeah. I watched it and I thought, how the, how they managed to do this? Run about how good Salford were and in, in key players at Salford without actually talking. What the hell has just happened to a team? Yeah. Let's, let's he's, get protecting this, it, he's protecting his players. Let, let's it? get something straight here. And this, and the other. Huddersfield. If, if you think or anybody thinks this journey, which is now into his second year, this field do spend the cap and do spend the marquee. Yeah. I reckon they've had to pay off, you know, to get people in that he wanted. They've probably spent half a million just getting players out on payouts. And I don't want to say, you know, Richard might say, no, 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 it's hundred grand, whatever. But they've delivered everything for Ian to become this team. I think the pressure's on its field opposite, Jimmy. I think next year, it's his third year. Oh, pressure next year. And I'm thinking to myself, and, and a journalist rang me about this, and I said, I said, how do you feel? He said, no, next year, everyone's saying, right, you can't use the word development, you can't use all these no. key words. It's on. For next year. And they've got to win it. Yeah. They've probably got to win it or get in at least a final, final to justify what financial has gone into it and this three-year journey of, of, of this. Hmm. They finished top with Paul Anderson. They actually won it, famously won it with Paul Anderson. And, and the five-year Paul were there, I think he got fourth, fifth, first. You know, you look, people probably didn't see Paul Anderson as a great success. I don't, I don't, I've never heard people talk about how well Paul did at Huddersfield. Have you? No. It's not something they do. No. So, because Paul never come across as probably that guy, but he actually did it, Nathan Brown still revered at Huddersfield. Probably Paul did it just as well. I think it's a big year next year, yeah. and I was disappointed. I think I think Huddersfield, especially in, especially in the play, everyone on about the the key the key element was the fullback uh, here. Sorry. and we've all talked it up. But I was so dis. I thought fucking hell, there were no, there were no play in it. Hmm. I, I looked at the half packs, there were no play in it, and then Young Will come on and he tried to spark it up. You could see he's thinking, get him on ball, get him on ball, but. Three times they forced the pass to win this one, went behind him, one went on his head. It all just looked clunky and never clicked. Mm. Uh, I think Salford, uh, it, it, this could be the greatest story on earth. This could be the greatest show on earth because Ryan said, but, and I didn't realise what it meant. He said, one game away. I was like, what does it mean? And then I thought, God, they're one game away from going into a grand <laughs> final. <laughs> That's the biggest thing yeah, yeah. I've ever heard you say. No, 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 hear me out. I wasn't concentrating on what he were on about. I was saying, are you all right, individual? And he said, he only put a one game away. So he's got it in his mind. This could be Ryan Braley at 30 year old getting in the grand final. I'm thinking out oh, his story alone, the Ryan Braley story alone would be unbelievable. And, and we talked about it last week and I said, he said to all KR on 30,000 quid. I hope you don't mind me saying that. That's four year, three, four year ago. And he's saying to me, we need to go back to Lee. Hull KR offered us. I thought he did a great job for Hull KR. It's probably three years ago. He had, a great, he had a great finish for him, didn't he? He really, he, he, he really finished he, really he, well. He, he regardless, for 30 grand, mate, you're, oh, no, thinking, yeah. you're very good. And you go and live in there. And you, you pay your own accommodation. He did what he did. But I've always said that was the pivotal point in changing Ryan because he found himself there. We call it the man in the mirror. That's what me and Ryan talk about. And we always said the man in the mirror. Ryan, when are you going to find the man in the mirror? He found it at Hull KR. 
and he looked at himself and he, if you look at him now he's braver he, he, he Tough, plays with more, everything yeah. about Ryan's totally different in fact if we're putting Tompkins at second player a year I'm going to throw Ryan in and I'm going to say well if you think he's not been as good as Ryan Ryan Brealy's been as good as Sam this year if not 100%, better 100%. 100%. and it's again it's, it's people's thing but I'm looking at Salford now how many different stories is in Salford? You've got Callum Watkins. Well, there was this... They wrote Callum off. <laughs> yeah. There was what? A, there was a story. So, tell me what you did. What's I think you know what I'm going to say because I said it to him yesterday. That, that apparently they've got six who were in the championship within the last year or two. Yeah. You know, so how amazing you, is that? Obviously, Ryan's one of them, but I had no idea. Six you know, players that were in the players championship. Players coming last from year the championship. That's what we're building. I know about the stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It just threw me because it looked back like yeah, we, were ta- we had no, two we hours talk- together we yesterday. We talking about it yesterday. We talked about the Salford story and how amazing it is. And that's brilliant as well. And the other thing we said, which while I remember, that story with Salford and Championship players and Ryan, who was, who was not wanted by LKR at the end and knew to go back to the Championship, what Rowan Smith's doing, going looking at the Championship and saying there's enough quality in this country and let's not be snobby, which a lot of Super League clubs have done for years, and they've, they've not even considered players in the Championship unless someone scored 40 tries and it's been too obvious to ignore. What Rowan's doing and what Salford have done is brilliant news for our game and lads in the Championship who, who have gone on alternative journeys and can believe that I can be here and still have a chance of going back to the big time. I think it, what Rowan's done, others will be going... Shall we do that? We've not looked at well, championship for donkeys Well, they have historically, but they've just got oh, off it. Two or three a year, mm. max no, for no, the no, last no. five years. years ago. Donkeys years ago. Oh, God. Yeah. That was but I'm problem. hoping that's going to be, lads in the championship now can go, what Rowan's doing and what Salford have done, it's like brilliant because they are going to start looking more. Coaches will be copying what Rowan's done. I mean, he's, he's signed, what, two, three from a championship already? Yeah, but I'd say it is a model that, so, you know, the, the Pauli, Pauli and them years ago historically for the last got, five years there's been no you, more than one or two I think Pauli think probably six you're all about donkey's years ago yeah, what yeah, about in recent yeah, yeah. years yeah, yeah. I think it's brilliant 